Hey, this is Zach. Hey, this is Zach. I'm calling, calling you about the Paragla tomorrow. I'm here in Vaduz Lichtenstein. And tomorrow we're going paragliding. I'm going paragliding in Switzerland tomorrow. Basically, it all started yesterday morning when I got here and on the way here, I was looking and I was like, oh, there's paragliders, there's paragliders going around. And I knew that they did paragliding here in Switzerland and in Liechtenstein. And then I started researching online and so I was just waiting for their call back and I just got it. So we're going tomorrow at 8.45 and we're gonna be paragliding. So I guess there's not much else to say except for I'll see you guys in the morning. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. I got an hour bus ride to get to my destination. So we're gonna go catch a bus right now. Whew, that's pretty. Okay, I gotta go. Take a cart. Oh my gosh. So I get on the freaking bus and I don't have a ticket. And I'm like, oh, how much does it cost? I'm thinking it's gonna be like two or three dollars. So I feel like bus tickets are normally really short and like cheap. And then it's eight dollars. I'm like, oh shoot. Like I only have freaking Euro coins. I'm like, oh, do you take card? They usually don't. And they're like, oh yeah, we take card. And it's the, only the tap thing. And I'm like, oh, I don't have that. Oh, only that? I don't have tap. Okay. Shoot. And so I'm like searching through my coins. Like, I know I don't have enough. But I'm just like digging through the coins. I'm like, oh. Uh. Cash? I have some. I don't. How much is it? Eight francs. I only have euros. Do you take euros? Euro, uh, eight euro twenty. Please take a seat when you have the money come. Please. And the guy's like, oh, just get in the back. Like, come up and pay me when you can. So I just waited the whole time. And then, like, I tried with my other credit, my debit card, no, my credit card, which isn't taken here, but I just was like, maybe, maybe. And it didn't work. And then he was just like, oh, it's fine. So I got like a 30 minute bus ride for free, but I was not sure I was going to get there. Phew. Swiss francs are definitely like the coolest currency I've ever seen. Look how cool and green that is. But seriously, check out the 20s. Just so cool looking. Look at this line of Alps. In real life, this is so incredible. Okay, I'm at the meeting place like 10 minutes early and the guy should just show up, take me up the mountain and we'll go paragliding. But seriously, look at this background. So freaking beautiful here. So how high in the air are we gonna be with the uh, paragliding? Uh, it depends from the weather, from the thermals. You know, you can climb up with, with the hot air, with the thermals. Okay. And sometimes you have days, it gets get up three and a half or more in South Switzerland. It's more wow. often you can go up more. Three, three and a half thousand meters. Above sea level, yeah. Wow. Okay. Or more, more than 4,000. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, I started uh, 20 years ago. Does it get kind of like boring, like a normal job, or does it always seem like really fun? No, it's fun. It's because uh, every flight I have a different customer. Yeah. That makes it interesting. Yeah? Okay. It's always a different story. Yeah. Like you now from Colorado. Colorado, yeah. yeah. Yes, the jingling is cowbells. We're definitely in Switzerland. We are here on 2,000. Yeah. Okay, so we're just waiting for it to clear up, and then we're we're just gonna we're gonna take off. So we're just about there. At this point, we did have to start hiking down the mountain to find a clear spot where we could take off, where there was no clouds, and we had a clear view. As my guide explained, it's a blind flight, then. Yeah, yeah. Then it's very dangerous. You you not feel that the glider is going right or left. Oh, and, and whoa, so you can't kind of really don't have depth perception. Yeah, you have no, no orientation, yeah. So you kind of get lost and in the clouds, that's exactly, funny. Exactly, yeah. I'm like not nervous at all, which is weird. I think I would be nervous. Like I've never done this before, I've never even done anything close. 
And just like that, we had a clear spot to take off. So we had to rush before it got cloudy again. We might get a chance here at clearing up. We just tried to pull, didn't we, Tom? We tried to pull like a horse, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. It's clearing up. We tried to uh, run as fast as possible, yeah? Yeah. Three, two, one, we go. <sighs> this was my favorite part. And even though I look quite terrified, I really wasn't nervous or scared at all, so I'm not sure what this face is. Oh, wow. <laughs> at this point, the guide just told me, sit back and be comfortable and enjoy the view. Wow. And the biggest thing on my mind in this time was just how incredible God's creation was. In all the places I've been, Switzerland just amplifies wow. it so much. It's such a beautiful place in the Swiss Alps. Romans 1.20 says, For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood through what has been made, so that they are without excuse. And this verse just rings so true. Like how could you look at a place like Switzerland, which is so beautiful, and not see his eternal power and not see his divine nature? Like, and just not clearly see God. They just represent his glory and his beauty. And you really don't even have to go to Switzerland to see that. And then that peaceful moment was over as the guide started to explain that a lot of people get sick and especially looking through the camera will make you get sick because looking through the camera in reality doesn't always match up and it usually makes you start to feel motion sick. You can get sick because really? the movement outside is different than you look through the lens. The cameraman, after 10 minutes, he feels the stomach. Really? Yeah, because he always looked through the camera of course. Oh. At this point, he handed me the controls, and that's why the camera angle is so bad. I had to set the camera on my lap, but I got to be able to just steer around for a little bit and just have some fun 3,000 meters up. And then we start to head down because I started not to feel so well. And even though I wasn't looking through the camera, it's quite hard on your stomach. But super awesome experience, and I would definitely recommend it, although it was pretty crazy. And mom, this clip's for you. And did you know the, the Heidi story? I think my mom told me about that right before he came here. 